Synchronization licenses are essential to placing music into any form of image media, namely TV shows, commercials, and film. To obtain a synchronization license, contact must be made with the publisher who grants the right of using the music in the picture. Also, the master use license of the specific song from the record label is needed, since there can be various versions and covers of a particular song released by a number of different record labels. Let's talk money. Money plays a big part in placing music into film. Using a single song in a motion picture can cost anywhere from $15,000 to $100,000. The price all depends on how popular the song is and whether or not the song is used additionally in promotions and trailers for the film. Sometimes more money than the original asking price can be earned if the film is a major success or if the film is released on video and DVD. The song can be used in and for the film in a variety of different ways. It can be used in a particular scene to help drive or enhance the story, or it can even be used in promotions for the film, as though the song is like a commercial for the entire film. Now with television, the prices range vary for what the song is being used for. It all depends on whether or not the song is being used for something like a home video or a TV theme song. With commercials, the prices range from $75,000 to $500,000 for one year of national usage on TV and radio. These prices lower if the commercial runs for less than a year. As for video games, a flat rate of $5,000 to $6,000 is standard. A flat rate is put in place because it isn't commonly believed a song can necessarily boost the sales of a video game. With online ads, the price is determined by the CTR or the click-through rate. The starting price all depends on the amount of traffic and the popularity of the website it is used on. The licensing laws may not be negotiable, but the price amounts most definitely are. Depending on the situation, it's almost always possible to get more or less money for a song. So the big question is, how do you get your music into this stuff? There are various ways of going about this. First, you can contact a music supervisor. Supervisors receive a ton of emails every day. You want yours to stand out above the rest. Also, never send an MP3. Look up and contact a music supervisor for a television show and pitch to them why you think a specific song would work especially well in a particular show. Make sure before contacting any music supervisor that the music has a one-stop license. This means all the rights to the music belong solely to the record label and that no other musicians are involved. Otherwise, the licensing process becomes much more complicated to deal with. Also, make sure the song is professionally produced and mastered and available in 320 kilobyte MP3. There are a lot of websites out there you can register and upload music, such as uplayer.com and qpop.com. It may take a while to find the right music supervisor to work with, but it really is worth the effort as it can bring in a great amount of exposure.